Hello everybody, welcome to Live Scribbles with Jonathan. You can check out my website and my work at jonathanrector.com. And uh, if uh, maybe you're new in the chat, or maybe you're watching this for the first time here on YouTube, uh, this show, this stream anyway, let me... <laughs> Bring this up here so we can see some more action, what's going on. Uh, this show is every Wednesday from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So uh, if you enjoy the show, uh, please hit subscribe. Or if you feel like it, just, um, you know, these ones tend to be very long, you know, around an hour or so. Um, so if you like listening to podcast-esque stuff while you're working, uh, this might be the show for you. If not, feel free to uh, check around on YouTube and see some of the other videos I have. Maybe there's something there that you like as well. So uh, what we're going to be doing today is uh, more of this project here. And I see, I apologize. I don't actually know the, <laughs> the name of the project. It's uh, it's for Kyle Simmons, the same cat that we did, uh, The World's in Peril, which was a lot of superhero role-playing stuff, if you guys remember that. That was probably uh, towards the tail end of last... Maybe, no, actually, it wasn't be the tail end. Last year, maybe summer. It's been so long since I worked on it. But it was last year at some point. And... Uh, I've been asked to do, uh, there's sort of like, I guess, uh, almost role-playing cards, where it was, uh, you know, like a poker size card, and they'll all have like an action. So what we're doing today is we're breaking down, as you can see here, the blue line art that's below it here, and I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. We're going to be doing some tight line art. Um, I was doing a whole bunch of these during the pre-show here as well, um, uh, and this is about as far as my roughs would go. So I actually, I just wanted to bring this up too, because... I find it interesting, and I, and I understand it. All these videos that I'm uploading lately, they're like a, an hour long, right? So I get that it's, it's it's probably pretty boring, right? It's just me talking. It's not like it's me and uh, necessarily somebody else talking. Uh, but I do talk about this workflow, this method, all the time. Uh, but I want to talk about it right in the beginning one more time, just to, uh, again, it's, it's going to be the exact same song that you guys keep hearing all the time, but just hear me out. So if you were to think about this, this workflow working with like pencil and paper uh, this here let me just bring this down this would be like your your gesture if you were to grab like a, a pencil right and you just quickly plot in where you thinking things would go uh, and then you might erase it right and then I would start going in here and this would be like uh, not my tight lines at all but cleaning up the scribbles so like your gesture and then putting some uh, somewhat messy I like the messy style here uh, structure on that gesture and then from here uh, we'll go one more time making this blue and then we'll do the tight line art uh, and that would be literally the tight line art that you do the pencil you know you get the the sharp pencil and you just get in there and uh, do your tight lines but with the digital workflow because we're doing inking and stuff uh, some people they skip that step and they just go right and inking on top so you know, you can do what you like there. So hopefully you guys get a kick out of this. Uh, and by all means, um, I'm opening it up to you guys as well. If you guys have any questions or anything, you need help with stuff, please uh, just load it up in the chat in all capitals. I can see it, and I'll uh, I'll uh, answer it as best as I can. How's it going, as a fox? Okay, so let's get back to this one here. So this move here, I, I didn't even really even know what move this was, and it's uh, I guess it's a, a parry kind of card where you, you're the guy's just literally coming in with a punch, and the guy just sort of like sidesteps, push, pushes the arm out of the way. Um, and one thing that's actually been pretty exciting about this project too, that I that I didn't actually foresee happening, was, um, you know, drawing fighting stances and, and, and things that um, I suppose you would study, like a martial arts, you know, like if some people, they'll, they'll like watch, um, what's it called, Bruce Lee videos and things, and, uh, you know, they'll learn like uh, nunchuck moves or, or just general kung fu movies in general right um, and that's exactly what this is and I haven't done this stuff in so long it's, it's actually pretty refreshing uh, and plus I get to work on and this is the, the secret tech the secret the secret stuff to it is I'm, I'm getting like some gesture and structure work in uh, like a crash course <laughs> almost uh, trying to figure out like different poses like and they're complex poses right uh, I don't know about you guys and girls but uh, if you guys have been filling up your sketchbooks and stuff, you've probably drawn figures or anatomy, right? Um, but I don't know how many of you, and if you are, you know, awesome, because it, it is more it is more difficult, but uh, are actually doing, like, multiple figures, you know? Like, it's one thing to study anatomy, but to study how anatomy affects with two people, you know, like fighting or wrestling or something, uh, it's... Whew. It's tough. And if you're drawing comic books, I mean, there's chances you're drawing people all the time, multiple people. Um, but it's, it's a little different when they're fighting. You know, There's body language. There's uh, all kinds of things taking effect. It's really fun. Really digging it. 
Uh, Noah, uh, who's the Kren guy you talked about on Snapchat? Oh, I, I should say too. Apologize, guys. Uh, so my Snapchat, if you guys are into Snapchat, we can talk about Snapchat, Snapchat. Snapchat. Um, and the younger crowd, if you guys are here or if you guys, or if you just understand what the hell the point of Snapchat is, please put it in the chat, let me know. <laughs> or leave a comment and let me know. That's my understanding. It's just like a chatting thing with video, like temporary video. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean... Uh, you know, it's it's not like Twitter for me anyway, or, or like Facebook or anything, where you kind of get like social updates from a bunch of people. It's more like just I don't know, I don't know. It's really weird. Anyway, my Snapchat's uh, the, just my name, Jonathan Rector with the number one, no capitals, all lowercase. Um, and actually, here I'll do this as well. Just give me one second. I'm just gonna flash the little thing that they tell you to check out. So if you have your phones on you right now, you can actually, uh, from my understanding anyway, you can just take a picture of this on Snapchat and it'll automatically add it, uh, add me to you, to your feed. And uh, so another thing I will say is the Snapchats I do, I did a couple tests and I posted them on YouTube so you guys can check those out if you haven't already. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm moving them to uh, Patreon first with extended content uh, for about a month and then I'll release them back on YouTube without that extended content. So what the hell is extended content? Well, the first example that I had is I, I made a, um, uh, a snap yesterday uh, just showing basically kind of like what I talked about with this here uh, but then the extended content is about like three to four minutes of the inking process over top of it sped up. Um, so again, if you guys are interested in that stuff, you know, I always feel sometimes like it's weird that I just keep asking you guys to, uh, it's always weird just still, I don't know, I don't think I'll ever get over it, just asking about, uh, hey, would you like to support me and <laughs> throw money my way? It's it's weird, it's it's never, uh, it's an understanding feeling, but it's always a little weird, it's always a little, you know, ugh, whatever, but uh, yeah, so you guys can check that out, I think, yeah, you can't actually see my name, again, it's Jonathan Rector 1 if you guys want to check that out, and if you're watching YouTube, you can just pause it or whatever, and uh, get that all set up for you. So I hope that helped. Oh, hey, Inkbot. How are you doing? Okay. So what news has been happening with you guys since last week? Anything new with you guys? Uh, things have been pretty much the same here. Uh, I was getting a little backed up with some of the projects that I had. Uh, and projects, I mean this one and a, a few Patreon things. Actually, uh, even though I keep, I don't want to sound like a broken record with the Patreon stuff, but uh, I'm forever happy and thankful that anybody's willing to throw money at me, obviously, for, you know, from the bottom of my heart. Um, but I, I didn't take into account how much, <laughs> and this is the, the sad part, how much work it would take to uh, fulfill like the things that I said I would, right? Uh, like sketches and, and private sessions and stuff. And I'm totally able to do it. It was just a really stupid part, on, on, or stupid mistake, and I, I talked about this too, of uh, taking on client work, um, and then still wanting to do my own stuff right, with Jessup King, and uh, unfortunately Jessup's been taking another seat because of all the, the work that I've given myself, and uh, I finally wrapped up two other projects that I took on, they were cover book, cover, cover book, <laughs> cover projects, uh, but they're all wrapped up, and now I'm, I'm being, uh, I have this thing on my wall that says, you know, like, take on no other projects so that's the the mindset I'm going in because as much as this is awesome I just I was realizing if you, if you guys read this book and here we go again more book talk what's that you need a joke um, what do you got uh, so anybody can answer this one hopefully you guys haven't heard of it what do you call a bear with no teeth What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. I'll let that sit in for a little bit. A gummy bear. <laughs> so stupid. It's so stupid. Anyway, I hope that I hope that helped you out there, V. Uh, what are the specs of my PC? My PC is not anything amazing, apparently. Even though I just bought this, I, I thought it was pretty good, but that's how much I know about computers. Uh, just real quick, it's an Intel Core i3, uh, and then it's got a Dash 4160, whatever that means. It's an Asus, an Asus. Uh, DDR3, 8 gig, uh, integrated graphics card. I, I actually want to update that, but I might have to do some other things. Anyway, uh, terabyte hair drive, 
And that, that's pretty much it. I don't know what else I'm missing. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's it's pretty pretty tame. Uh, and thank Frig for uh, Mega Studio, guys. Mega Studio is one lightweight machine. I swear, um, I've had a lot of problems with other programs. Even Mega Studio Four, I still rec I still stand by Mega Studio Four. Wonderful piece of software, and you can get that wicked cheap too. Okay, so let's get into it. So I don't know how much of this we're gonna get through today, anyway. Uh, but here we go. Some more line art, or sorry, yeah, line art. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, rough lines. Uh, yeah, we'll save that. Why not? And we're gonna start getting some tight line art going here. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> so we're gonna grab everything, put it into a full DL. We're gonna blue line that, and then we're gonna save this as in our lines folder. So we can always step back. I'm just gonna get rid of this too. Get that, get that smut out of the way. Um, so I was saying, there's a book called the 80-20 um, Principle. I've talked about it before. It's a really good read. Some people, you know, don't care. Just book stuff, whatever. Uh, the general idea is 20% um, of the total work you do should yield, or it can go either way. So like 80% of the work you do can yield 20% of the return or 20% of the work you put in, you get 80% out. So like money wise, ideally, I think most of us, if we absolutely could, if you're thinking about it just to like live like a lot of money, you know, like bring in some serious cash that if you could find out a way about like 20% of your effort and time uh, gets you 80% of your income, like that would be insane. Absolutely insane. I think a lot of us were in the other boat where it's 80% uh, of what we do only gets us 20%. You know, it's not a, it's a, it's not a necessary science, but it's that ratio, right? Um, so somebody was asking something about study. Uh, how much time should they study? And I, I, some of you guys, I think, uh, I, I believe, uh, what's it called? <clears throat> Sorry. Oh my gosh, I can still turn my throat. Uh, Kevin Phillips was in the chat. <clears throat> I believe you also replied to it too. I, I could be wrong. I see you everywhere, but you're always online post everywhere but uh some people were he had uh, an art friend that was saying um you know 75 percent of your time should be studying and 25 percent of it should be actually working on your comic books uh and that's obviously it's somebody's opinion so you can't say it's wrong uh but i'm gonna say it's wrong i i think and it, anyway it just got me thinking more of you know looking at what i'm doing and and, and stuff like that and where i want to be and, and and all that good stuff I'm pretty sure you guys already know where we're going to go with this, but um, if you want to make comics, <laughs> it really should be 75% of your time is spent making comics, and 25% is study. Right? And it sort of goes into, if you think of, um, I forget where I heard this, one of these self-help book uh, style things that I, I read all the time. Um, you're always talking about like, uh, and this is actually great advice. It helped me out huge time, or huge time. What am I? I can't even speak. I got coffee. <laughs> I got a French press. I'm all over the place. You guys can tell. I got a French press, right? And I haven't been using it for a while. And I just got some new beans. And I, I uh, pressed the hell out of those some bitches. And I'm sucking that back. And I am like, I'm good to go. I am ready, ready to go. Um, ah, uh, man. See, I don't even know what I'm talking about there. Uh. I know it's. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know I was talking about making comics and stuff, so I'll just go back to that until, until I fall back into it. But is the idea? Oh, that's what it was. Relationships. Thank you. So uh, this helped me out because art takes a long time. Art takes a very long time, and I'm okay with that. I think a lot of us are. Uh, we probably wish that we had more time because the time we're spending doesn't seem like it's enough. Um, but if you guys are in relationships at all, maybe you guys have heard this. I've heard it many times from different people, whether it's somebody like your, you know, like uh, like your girlfriend, boyfriend, or if it's your brother, sister, your friends, uh, where they're always saying like, you're always working all the time. You're always like, you've always got something to do. We can never like just hang out. And, and you want to hang out with people for sure, you know, and do that. And, you know, some of you might, more than other people like myself I, I don't really do it uh, do that as much um, but it's always like you're always working people want to hang out with you do stuff which is awesome you know you never want to give that up uh, and I'm sure the older you get you wish you had more people to do that with hang out with you know um, but what they were getting at was it's not that you know people don't look at a clock 
And just think about it yourself, too, when you're hanging out with people. But rarely do we look at clocks and, and think like, oh, man, you know, I need to get 10 hours of my best friend hanging out with me. You know, it, it's not that. It's it's the, the quality of that time. You know, literally that word quality time. Um, and what that helped me out with relationship wise was, yeah, so like, let's say, oh, well, I'll use my girlfriend as a, as a great example. Um, you know, she works two jobs. I work a full time job plus, uh, you know, my, my freelance art that I love to do and I don't ever want to stop this. Um, but, uh, you know, you get the comment every now and then where it's like, you know, we don't we don't hang out or, or I'll get this myself thinking about like, all I do is draw, maybe, you know, it's fun to go out and hang out with people, right? Um, so then you just start thinking about it, and it's, it's, you get into this nasty loop of, okay, well, I can't draw between these times because I need to hang out with these people so that I can sort of, like, fulfill that commitment with them um, so that I can still get back to draw when I get home or when I'm by myself, and then you're staying up to, like, 2 or 3 in the morning to catch up because you feel like you're giving hours to people and then maybe a certain amount of time uh like let's say you're hanging out with somebody and two hours in you're kind of like all right let's in your own head you don't want to be rude about it in your own head you're like all right let's wrap this up you know like i'm good <laughs> i put in my time sort of thing and leave that sort of thing uh but uh what's it called the the other idea is if you think about it, you could actually, in, in, it's sort of a manipulation in a way, uh, but I've, I've found that it's not in a negative way, it's, just, it's in a, a real positive way of um, just sort of like the time that you, you, like, you just commit yourself to that, that person or that um, social arrangement that you're in, and just like literally, and, and this might take some practice with some of you, some of you out there, and it changed my mood, it changed everything, um, where it's like, just absorb everything that's in there, just like, be happy in the moment, if somebody's sad and that, like, be sad with them, just experience that compressed, uh, I guess, like, emotion in life that you can kind of have with them, um, and they'll remember that more often than not, and I think most of us, you guys, we all know that's right, like, how many times have you spent time with maybe your parents or your dad or your mom or something like that? And and it wasn't that they're always around necessarily. It was they were around when you needed them. And uh, it was maybe them going out of their way or just the fact that they were there um, when you actually needed them the most, you know? And it wasn't that they were... Uh, you know, I could go back and think of all the time my parents were around and stuff, and it's not that they were around that I appreciated or anything. It was, you know, if it was, if you ever actually needed somebody, or you know, you took them out to go see a movie, or you're hanging out with a friend, or again, you know, you're just watching Netflix with your your special person, you know, or your best friend, and uh, you guys load up Street Fighter or something, and you guys just only had an hour to play, but you played, and you guys had so much fun. You remember that, not the fact that it was, oh, I sit up all night playing. You just remember that person all night you hung out with. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to, you know, I'm going to answer your guys' question here because there's some really awesome art questions in here. But um, I honestly forget. Oh, it was the 80-20 rule. <laughs> oh, it's so brutal how I got in that. But if you think of that, so um, in the relationship part of it, if, 20, if you're putting in 80% of you, you're gonna you're gonna see that or sorry the other way around oh my god the math is getting in my head I think you guys know what I'm, <laughs> what I'm trying to say there oh my gosh okay so let's get to the art stuff you guys are right caffeine everywhere gee buzz okay uh sage you asked something there um inkbot asked oh yeah earlier I asked if those Inkbot, I'm not sure what you're what you're trying to ask there, bud. I asked that those packs facade, I don't, I don't know what that word is, uh, could get for Photoshop would be able to be used in Manga Studio. I think I figured out how to do it, though. I need Photoshop to do it. Uh, if you could reword what you asked there, maybe I can help you out. Create now, sleep later, love the name. Uh, I was asking, any update on your webcomic tutorial? Uh, it's not going to be a webcomic tutorial. It's going to be a mini comic tutorial that I'm going to do. Uh, there hasn't been any updates yet, but like I did say, uh, what I will be doing is most likely posting uh, bits and pieces of it so you guys can see kind of what's going on, but it's most likely uh, going to be a Gumroad tutorial. So I, I already... Uh, I already actually, you know what, I actually said that last week, and I had a few people uh, email me, which is cool, you know, everybody gets their opinions and stuff, and they were like, pissed off, you know, one person actually dropped an F-bomb, 
This doesn't even make sense to me. He dropped an F-bomb saying, how, basically, how dare you charge people for stuff you're, you're doing already on for free online. It was, it was weird. It was absolutely weird. It doesn't make any sense at all. Like, you know, you, you send a nice email back. Hey, thanks for that email. I don't know why you'd send an email like that, but anyway, no, uh, to answer your question directly, there, no, there's no update just yet, um, I'm hoping to start moving forward on it next month, this month's pretty much done, and I just have some some more of this work to do uh, that I have to make sure gets done, uh, and then I can heavily move back into Jessup King, which I'm jonesing to get back into that, like I actually miss working on that, um, and it's it's one of the things that, if not the thing that I think about the most all the time. Again, because it's a personal project, so you're always going to be um, a little bit more attached, I find anyway, to your stuff, right? Uh, and I, and I just I just want to really see that thing launch, you know, so that I can really start having some fun with it. Um, it's going to be very exciting, very exciting. Uh, Mr. Billy, yo, John, got a sec. Uh, check out a pick I'm working on. Could you, uh, normally I don't do critiques. Critiques are saved for the first Wednesday of every month. Uh, but go ahead, fire if you can fire me a, a link in the chat. Um, hopefully I'll be able to just quickly do something for you. Inkbot, it's not really a question. You know those building faces? Oh, faces, not okay. You mentioned from Freddy Art. Yep. You can finagle them into Manga Studios materials. Just need to set it up via for. Okay. You're the you're like I think the third person to bring that up. I'm not I haven't noodled with it too much. Um, the only thing I remember, and I could be wrong. Please let me know if I'm wrong on this one. I would love to be wrong on this, but uh, the materials don't act the same as a a, a a path does in Photoshop. Meaning, in Photoshop, a path is just like these lines, like um, vectored lines that you can apply an effect to. Right. So what what that means is I can make building faces that uh, Inkbot's talking about there. I can make building faces um, and then distort them in perspective, and then stroke the image with the the brush of my choosing. Now, why that's important is because now the lines don't get thick and thin because I'm distorting them after the fact. Uh, whereas with Manga Studio, at least from what, from what I'm, I'm aware, and again, that's why I really hope you guys can clarify it on for me. Um, you get that material in, and it warps it when I start adding like perspective to it, uh, which is no good. So what I do to get around that, I mean, it sucks because I know not everybody can afford Photoshop and... And people don't want to learn multiple programs. I get all that, um, but I'll, I'll just load my my shapes, like my my background sometimes, or or I'll just do the whole background in Photoshop, and then I just import that file um, right into Manga Studio, and then go from there myself. But I like, I, of course, I understand the desire and the you know to, the want to just stay in, in a single program. It just, it makes sense. I get it. Create now. His name's John as well. That's a that's a really good name. Uh, Noah, you know I'm I'm with you, Noah. I get it. Yeah, I I know, <laughs> I know. You're gonna get people that are just you know, it's the internet. I plan once a week to see my cousin. Uh, been going for three weeks for coffee and just to chill. Yeah, no, like uh, I miss hanging out with my brother too. Uh, you know, he's the only guy that I can play that I'm, you know, that I actively uh, enjoy spending time with. Uh, to play like some Street Fighter, just some couch Street Fighter, grab some pizza, play some Street Fighter. You know, it's really awesome to be able to do that. Uh, or play Magic: The Gathering is the other one. And I, I, you normally just play like that stuff just because my brother's there, right? Like he's, you know, best friend kind of stuff. So it's good to be able to get out and do that. And I, and I miss not being able to do that. Um, and on the same token, the reasons why I can't is because I, you know, it, it's my own fault. Same with anybody else. You got to manage your own time, but you always want to take out more work and more projects, right? Because it's sort of like a, it's your job. Right, but at some point, you know, like a, what, what is too much, and when do you look back and go, you wish you spent time with people, and you know, it, it's weird, it's weird. I, I find that kind of question you start asking the more you get older. <laughs> Lot of stuff. Uh, okay, Mr. Billy, let me just see if I, this works here, bud. Read a little critique. Uh, okay, replace that with an A. You got it. No, that's... Come on. I gotta learn how to internet here. There we go. 
Uh, no, that didn't work. Let's see if this one works. There you go. Oh, <laughs> that's a funny picture. Okay, let me just open up a new piece of paper here. Paste it in. All right, so we're just going to do a very quick critique here. Um, you guys know how this goes. All right, so let me just zoom out a bit. I know you guys, you know, might not be able to see it too much, but okay, so we got an Attack on Titan thing going. Just trying to check some stuff out. Okay, so I was going to, no, the, the perspective's good. Um, there's not really much to critique here. I mean, it's it's all, like, it's structurally good. There's nothing really wrong with anything, and the rest of it's just style on top of that, right? Uh, if I had to find something, I mean, if we absolutely had to find something to nitpick, perhaps this boot, you know, changing the perspective so it's a little bit more like this one, just so that this black area, just by doing that, you know, just breaks that boot up kind of like what you had down there, that kind of makes it look a little bit better, uh, and then the last thing I'll critique, because the rest honestly is just structure, everything's good, what I'm seeing here is what, what I, I actually wish I saw more of when, when we do these critiques, is just having, um, it looks like you had at least an underdrawing, some structure, you took some time to set it up um, before we just drew, the only critique I would have is, is your rendering, and again, that's just a preference thing. You're doing really awesome stuff, like here in the beard, right? Like you've got like these lines that come here, and, and you're contouring, and or not contouring, but uh, you're following the form, right, with all these lines, which is great. And then what you do is you start losing it. You start giving up, it looks like, right in here. Like maybe you don't understand what's going on, right? Like all these lines, they shouldn't, none of these should be straight, especially when you're curving them in certain areas, right? Like, you understand what's going on. Um, it, it, and a, I apologize if this one comes off a little crass, but it looks like you're getting lazy um, in these areas here, right? Like, even all up in here, let me just quickly erase this just to show you. So, like, if we had the arm, this is all going this way. Because it's coming away from us. It's it's underneath of us here, right? This arm. And the same with his his breast here. There's still some some shape. And, and by, by flat, by doing the straight lines, you're actually, um, all that hard work you set up to do, you lose because, uh, you're just flattening it with some straight lines and that's no good because again art's hard enough <laughs> so just taking a little bit of time to think in these spots here will help you big time it just keeps the integrity of the image up you know and I'll just do this cheek area here and then we'll wrap it up All right and just coming in this way if you wanted more Right, so if we zoom out, like, do you see what's happening here? Do you see how the lines are curving? Right, like, and we're able to get shapes now. Some clear shapes, and you can come in some more, and... If you wanted to bring out a shoulder or something. But it's very important. You don't want to, uh... To skip this step. And if you notice, right, like you can see, here, let me paste it over top so you can see. So here's what you had, just so we can see the form, right? And then if we take it off, just by rounding, how, how much that radically changes. Do you see that? And that's all my intention was here to show you there with that, okay? So I hope that helps you out there. Other than that, keep it up, man. Great stuff. It's, uh, it's exciting to see when people post, like, even perspective. You'd be surprised how complex uh, perspective is, obviously. Um, but some people, they just give up on it and... Uh, even if you're using Manga Studio rulers, <laughs> that's cool too. Um, just keep it up, man. It's great stuff. Uh, let me just scroll back up here. Just check up with you guys. 
Thing is, you can set up a material as a vector layer. It's a bit CPU intensive, but it works. Okay, I'm I'm gonna make a note. Maybe if I I don't know. I don't know when I'll be able to get to it. So I'll actually reach out to you guys if you guys see any videos online or anything about how to bring in materials to do building faces. Uh, please let me know. I I really appreciate that. Yeah, V, v I hear you, man. Everybody like sometimes when you gotta pay stuff. You know what I find funny? I don't know about you guys. Um, for myself, anyway, um, I used to, <laughs> well, still do, still pirate, everybody pirates, I'm pretty sure, unless you're older, some people, they get like a little bit more of a problem with it, not that there's anything wrong, whatever, but, uh, you know, there's certain things that we all, I, I think, pirate in some way, uh, whether it's music or, or whatever, right, uh, but, there came a point when uh, there were certain tutorials that I couldn't find anymore <laughs> on the the sites that I would frequent. So what I would do is, uh, you know, I, I'd bounce around in my head. I'm like, ah, ten bucks, you know, like just to buy like an hour video or a half hour video, but I get I get some brushes with it. And like, ah, I don't I don't know, man. Uh, but I'll tell you this: the same thing happened to me with uh, my cell phone. The moment I bought like an app or I bought a tutorial, all of a sudden it was like the floodgates were open. It wasn't that I was just blowing money. I don't mean like that. But it was like, you know what, I felt better. <laughs> and maybe it's just me. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think. But I felt, you know, like, you know what, yeah, like, this is great. This is awesome. And then I would hear people say certain things like, uh, you know, like there's free apps and stuff that you can get for, for certain things. Like um, I talked about Todoist and those other um, task management apps that I have, like Evernote. And somebody just said something perfect. They are like, you know, if if these apps and these people, they offer free things, that's great. But if they offer a premium version, um, think about it. Anyway, think about spending the money and upgrading if it makes sense to do so. Don't just do it just to do it. But if it makes sense to upgrade for you, do it. Because what it's going to do is it's going to make it so that thing stays around longer. That thing that you enjoy sticks around longer and theoretically it gets better right because there's people pouring money into it it's not it's not that's not science rockets right that makes sense um and then it would just made things more clear and i mean you know again it's not like we're reinventing anything here by 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 me saying something like that but it was just uh it was like yeah of course you know like these people that i really enjoy their tutorials 10 bucks really like i seriously is the 10 bucks that important to me if it is then i mean okay you gotta eat you gotta eat but you know it just makes it made sense to go okay i'm gonna like spend 10 bucks to get a tutorial uh, and all this is just running around uh just trying to say that you know when when i post my thing hopefully enough people get something out of it or it's something that you're interested in um just because i know the amount of time that's going to take to put in there uh, to make that mini comic tutorial, like I said, well, I'm gonna go through my way anyway of making plots, script, story, um, thumbnails, tight line arts, inks, literally like all the way. And I don't, I don't know if we're gonna do color just yet, but we'll see how that goes. It might be like a whole production thing. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but it'll be primitive. It'll be just you know how it is. Sorry, I'm just trying to find this one here. I need to open this up. Why aren't you open? Open with Mang Studio. Oh, Jesus. I just need this so I can see the, the what these characters are looking like. I don't want to forget little like assets that they got on them. Like I would not have remembered this guy's um shirt. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, you're welcome, Mr. Billy. Glad it helped. Uh, okay, thanks, Inkbot. Uh, Psyche. I like that name. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. Or Pisky? I like Psyche. Uh, have you thought about getting an iPad Pro? No, I haven't. Uh, I'm, I'm not a really big iPad guy. I don't really like a lot of Apple stuff, to be honest. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's the cost. The cost uh, kind of bums me out sometimes makes sense if you're grabbing one uh, I hope I hope everything's awesome with it uh, I do have a surface pro and to be honest I don't even really use it 
I got it for those rare, rare, rare occasions that I'll be able to leave and, and do some work on it. Uh, but I, I can't do, at least to me anyway, I can't do finished production work on it. So what I can do is like roughs, which is fine. You know, some sometimes, and again, I don't really leave the house that much if I'm going to do art. If I'm, if I'm doing art, then I'm pretty much, you know, I've got my Cintiq here and my setup here. That's just me. But, uh, yeah, I have the surface area. I can do my rough sketches on there and stuff, which is great. Um, other than that, you know, I thought about look saving up for, like, even the Cintiq. I was at the Companion, the one you could take out there. That way I could do production work. But then I just had to think, for me, I don't leave enough to warrant it myself. I don't travel enough to warrant one my, myself. And on iPads, probably pretty affordable. I don't think it's crazy expensive. But um, it's Peaky. Okay. <laughs> Frugal Android boys, there you go. Uh, which keys is it? F7? Nope. Oh. Crap. Uh, it's going to be F8, I believe. There we go. Let's make some zippers. Trying to find the right size here. <laughs> Sage has got a companion. Awesome. Do you uh, is do you use that as like your primary device as well though to draw on? Because I've seen that too, and that that definitely changes the dynamic a little bit of the device, right? Like if my Surface Pro was what I used to draw, then that that I think that would be a little different. And I guess the other question is, do you travel a lot? Or, or even maybe better, do you travel now that you have that ability to just draw wherever you want? Because I don't, I don't know about you guys. You guys let me know. You guys let me know how you how you do this. Like, I always hear artists talking about, like, it almost like romanticizing being an artist, I guess. Of like, I'm going to go to the coffee shop and bring my sketchbook and just sketch in the coffee shop. And I mean, I do that from time to time, but it's just not my my thing. Do you guys do that? Do you guys get a kick out of doing that stuff? It makes it sound like nothing negative. If if you do, I mean, if that's your if that's what you do, cool. I'm just more interested in how many people actually do that. When I ordered uh, that the War of Art book I was talking about last week, um, I keep listening to reviews and stuff on it, and uh, everything I've been hearing so far has just been like so on point. I recommend you guys check it out. It's called uh, The Art of War. Sorry. <laughs> the War of Art. Check it out. Uh, a lot of the stuff talked about there is awesome. Um, and the one thing too, I've actually been trying, and I really, I've known about this for a long time. It's just, uh, again, you know, when you hear people say certain things, or you hear somebody say something, you already, you know, air quotes here, no, um, and it just all of a sudden you're like, yeah, you think about it a little different, or it sounds a little bit different. Uh, it's been the same way, and it was, um, uh, in. He has a chapter, I guess, talking about this. Uh, but he has another book called Turning Pro. And the idea is, like, all of us in this room right now, we can all be professionals just by thinking what a professional does in your field that you'd want to be and just do those things. Um, instantly, you're a professional. And it might sound like too good to be true, but uh, I've noticed, you know, normally I come home and I have a nap, get ready to start work, and then around 7 o'clock I can start doing some work just, you know, the way that my routine's been going and stuff and you know just trying to st when I start feeling those things come on I'm just like if I was a professional well, no, not even if I was but what would professional artists do you know not necessarily what would I do but what, what would the professional artists do and I'm like I'm tired man it's like who cares draw 
to a degree. Don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about getting burnt out and stuff, but uh, just the um, it, it's changed some stuff. I recommend you guys check it out. If again, if anything I said last week was even remotely interesting to you, but just really cool book. Really cool book. Uh, Sage, you do travel a lot. Awesome for me. It's uh, an ability to get out of the office, uh, be on the back deck with the family stuff. So, yeah, exactly. That, I, that was the other thing too. I got my Surface Pro because, uh, you know, like my girlfriend will watch TV or something while I'm drawing and there's nothing, you know, there's no interaction you can do there. Uh, so I was like, well, I could get that and I could do some roughs and all that out there, but it's still not the, I don't know, I get distracted too easy and it's not, it's not the, it's not the same, but at least it's better than nothing for sure. And V speak in my language. James has his own booth at Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> oh my god. Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. So this one's almost done. We're just going to quickly plow through these. These legs here. Yeah, I, that's what I was doing, guys. I was doing either, like, uh, even tight pencils on the Surface Pro. I was doing that. Uh, you know, I go to, like, Tim Hortons. How's it going, eh? Do that from time to time, and, uh, you know, it's fine, but at some point it was just like, all right, I got to get out of here. But I get it. I, I know, like, what a, obviously what a change of environment does. It's always it's pretty healthy, or at least it can help spark some creativity. If where you're currently at just isn't, you know, jiving. All right, so think, yeah, that's good. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is start merging these layers down. And then, like usual, we're gonna go in and let me just kill all those lines. We're doing, going to play a little bit of connect the dots. So we can get our contour line on this guy to get it ready for inking. Okay, that's good. Let's start going around this side. Cool, go all the way down here. Uh, what is the Krenz method? Okay, yeah, actually, I'll plug the hell out of Krenz. His name's, uh, I don't know if it's a, his actual name or not, but uh, at least online it's Krenz Kushart or Kushart. I recommend, if anything, if absolutely anything, follow his Facebook page. And it's spelt K R E N Z. And then Kushart. C U S H A R T. So. I'll just, well, actually, you know, uh, hmm. let me go on to his Patreon. And I'll just give you an example of what he, how he draws. And, and I'm, I've actually been trying to practice his method here uh, with some varying levels of, this, of um, success. I want to spend a lot more time with it for sure. Um, but what he does is I haven't seen anybody, I've seen this stuff before, but he just seems to do it in such a practical way, that's, uh, which is awesome. Uh, let me see if I can get like a little bit of a bigger image. 
No, I can't. Okay, so here, I'll just move it up here. Oops. Okay. And I'll just increase the size of the zoom. So it's not going to be much better than this, I apologize, but it seems so simple, um, but things that are complicated tend to be very simple, uh, if you follow my meaning. But yes, I've been looking into a lot of this sort of stuff just to break down figure work and just get uh, tighter with anatomy, you know? Uh, like I always say, always be a student, always trying to figure out and find new ways, um, always be willing to learn something new. Uh, if it seems approachable and applicable to what you're doing. So this is what I've been studying myself with this. Uh, and on Patreon, I've been making posts, uh, just starting this week, I believe, uh, just sort of going over what it is that I've been learning. And, uh, you know, without going too, too far into uh, his method, you know, like I'll talk about it, but for the same in the same hand, a lot of it's like, you know, like, you know, you can go support him or buy his tutorials to, to kind of get his information. And, and I, re I, again, I recommend doing that, uh, because the content is so awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's sort of the method that I've been doing things. And I actually bought uh, a Rubik's cube and in one of his, um, tutorials, he's, he has a, a part where he talks about a, a Rubik's cube and I've been doing actually a lot of studies with that. And I don't know about you guys, but a block, or a square is very, um, again, it's easy, but you can get a lot of more out of it than I thought you could get, which is really cool. And is a, a very practical way of uh, breaking that up. So let's save this here again. And then the very last stage we do is we're going to combine these layers. And turn it to gray, make a new folder and put inks inside of here and then save this again as our inks file. And then when we get ready to ink, so we can go ahead and do that one. So what's the next one here? So we've got this one, that one, and we're back to this guy. I like this one. This one's a kind of a fun one. A little bit of story going on in there. We've got about uh, 12 minutes left, too. So if you guys had any questions or if you guys need any help with anything, again, uh, by all means, please uh, ask them in the chat. And if I can help, I'll uh, do my best. And actually, for you guys in the chat, too, if you guys use Snapchat, I know we're, we, this is apparently like the Snapchat episode, but... Uh, how do you guys, do you guys know if there's a way to find out how many followers you have? Like how many people you are that are, uh, you know, I guess subscribed or something like that. All right, let's get to this. Oh, <laughs> awesome, Sage. His marketing whiz friend. I, I think I need to talk to a, a marketing person. I'm able to hook. You know, I sort of. You know what's awesome about people that are in different things? This is 
obvious, but it, it's just like that range of knowledge where you never know when you might need something or someone will be able to like say something to you and let you know something different. You're like, oh man, that's actually pretty cool. You know, and, and like uh, marketing or um, social, uh, what is it? What's the word for those? social network? It's not social network, social somethings. I forget the name. And what they do is they just go around and find creative ways to like get your name out there or get like an article shown to people and stuff. It's really cool stuff. just tanked uh, if you open up the app there should be an added me button to the drop down it will show everyone that you follow you follow and who follows you oh okay perfect thank you I will definitely check that out after the stream So I know these hands look real messy, <laughs> uh, but once we get into inking again, uh, a lot of this sort of kind of like get a second chance to clean it up. Actually, you know, I'm still not, that hand's still kind of like, it's like a dinky hand. Do a little, little girth to her. How temporary? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, so I don't, under, I don't again understand Snapchat. It's sort of like I think all of us as artists. I, I think if you've got something anyway to add, or if you got people that you like or enjoy, or, or who knows what could be your next thing that people find you from. Uh, so like Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, blah blah blah, every social media under the sun. Um, is a huge thing for artists, obviously. So Snapchat, if it's between friends, so uh, let's just say, James, I sent you one, just between you and I. I believe you only get to watch it once in their 10-second videos, um, or 
you get to watch it a second time or something, and it goes away after a certain period of time. Uh, the stories that they're called, which is what I upload and share with uh, you guys, those ones, from my understanding, you can have unlimited um, videos that are like up to 10 seconds long, uh, and it just strings them together. Uh, those stay on for uh, 24 hours, I believe, and then they're and then they're gone. But that's why uh, you're actually able to save them to your phone, which is great. And then what a lot of uh, artists that I'm, I'm seeing anyway, what they do is uh, just upload it to YouTube after the fact. So if you want to see the stuff as it comes in, you know, everybody does their little thing differently. So for me, uh, you know, I'll do a Snapchat, who knows, once a week or, or something like that. Uh, and then I'll upload it to YouTube maybe like a week later. But uh, now I'm just focusing mostly just getting it to uh, patrons first. Just to, again, you know, with added stuff. Yeah, you do whatever you like, but yeah, I'm, I'm rambling now. Uh, I have some months of free time coming up, and I'm looking to create a personal, private website where I can upload a regular art progress post. Any recommended uh, easy... Uh, I don't know how to do the private stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, even Tumblr, you might be able to put some privacy stuff on that. That might be the easiest. Or just WordPress. I think you can do private stuff on there, too. Art Station, James is talking about. Yeah, little monkey. Sorry, you're, you're coming in at the tail end here. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, my God. Instagram was something that... Pfft, I had no idea of what I was getting myself into. Again, <laughs> Instagram started, uh, I guess, even in the same vein as, uh, you know, how I feel about Snapchat. I'm like, I don't get it. What's the point? Just pictures. Even though, you know, I, I like pictures. I make pictures. I enjoy seeing pictures. <laughs> um, but the more, uh, you know, you just log in every now and then and you just see what... It's awesome. <laughs> I love love it. I love it more than Pinterest, honestly. I, I, they're two different things. But, uh, no, I, I think it's amazing. I think everybody should be, especially artists, you guys should all, even if you don't post your stuff, you should be on Instagram. Just, it's it's so refreshing, I guess. And, yeah, you can spend a lot of time on there, so it's a little dangerous. Um, but you can just spend so much time on there, just not only finding new artists, but, like, Random stuff just shows up in your feed, right? Just like, imagine Facebook, but it was all, like, art. And, like, the random, you know, like, uh, hot fitness chicks, for whatever reason. I don't know I don't know how that works, how those show up in my feed. If it's just because a lot of people are liking them, or, or just weird pictures that have nothing to do with, like, stuff you're, you know, you're looking into. Like, I want to see just a concept art, comic book stuff, anime, video game stuff, you know, and... That's what I want in my feed, but again, it's just a, it's a I guess I I'm keep saying it, but it's like a, it's like an artist's Facebook, I guess. No, maybe that's wrong. It's Instagram. It's just straight up Instagram, just a feed of images, and it's very easy to uh, set up. I recommend. There's this other site called If This Then That. I-F-T-T, I believe it's called, dot com. And what it is, is uh, think about if this happens, then do this. Okay? So what you do is, it's very simple. From your phone, you can set all this up. Uh, it's like, if I make a post on Instagram, then post to Facebook. Then post to Twitter. Then post to you know a few other places. So uh, you guys can, if you guys are following me on Facebook, you guys have probably already seen it. Um, but yeah, that's what I do. So now I, you know, like I just use Instagram to post a picture, and then bang, it goes to Google. I believe it goes to Google Plus. Could be wrong, but it just goes to like all your social network things in like just one thing. And again, going back to that, uh, as artists, we should be on all these things. At least that's my opinion. Uh, that's huge. That's absolutely huge. You know how much time you just shaved off. You, you know. It's awesome. It's like Twitter, but pictures instead of words. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, 
Oh, thank you, little monkey. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, it's taken a long time to get to where I'm at with this, to be honest with you. Like, that ear that I just threw in, I don't know what the delay looks like on your guys' screen, but this whole face that I'm putting in right now, like, look how, like, it might look amazing, and, oh, wow, look how fast it is. You know, much wow. But, like, you see there's, like, gaps that I'm leaving here, like, holes and stuff? Like, it took a while to be okay with just drawing like this. You know? Say it again, because we can't have a stream without it. Pick up the DC Comics Guide to Digitally Drawing Comics. Uh, check out Freddie Williams' YouTube stuff. All this stuff is talked about on there. And it just, I don't know. Again, it just took so much willingness to just let go, I suppose, and just sort of like work this way. Uh, I'm, I'm much more comfortable now because I know where this stuff ends up going and um, yeah, it's just, it's much better now than it was when I first started this stuff. A lot of practice for sure, obviously, just like anything else is practice, but so we're going to play Connect the Dots and if you think about it too, and this is um Going back into the the make more comics, sort of like again how we started the show off, talking about this stuff, is you know how long? Okay, we'll do the eighty twenty thing again. Hopefully, I won't screw this up. So think about it for comics. So we'll say the total time for a page. Let's say it takes eighty percent of the effort I put into a comic book page. Only twenty percent of it is going to be looked at. I think that's actually pretty applicable uh, by the average comic book reader, right? Or if you just picked up a comic book and you just flipped through it. Like, I don't just gush over pages when I'm buying my comic books. Maybe, the, like, if I take a second pass through it or there's certain things, I'll, like, slow down and really, like, wow, look at all the detail. But for the most part, yeah, you know, we just look at the words, get an idea of the picture, and then move to the next one and, you know, like, fly through a comic book. So that 80-20 rule really works with that. But um, that's why I kind of really... Am embracing this style right here. Uh, that's not what I'm about to say. Isn't the definite way that this style is. You can make this stuff look or, or spend as much time as you want with it for sure. Um, but I have noticed that by working like this, I have gotten much faster. The art that I do can come out quicker, uh, which is great because then I can tell more stories, more art. It takes less time, uh, and just you know keep keep making those gains, those uh, comic book gains. Art station is your guys' thing, eh? Hmm. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, DeviantArt, even then, I haven't really been much on DeviantArt lately. I kind of give up on DeviantArt because it just, everything takes so, like, to upload things is just, I find it to be a hassle. All right, so say this, uh, is this in the lines? I don't know if I saved it in the right spot. No. So lines, save. Uh, and then we're going to combine these layers. Turn them to gray. Make a new folder. Call this sucker inks. And then save this in our inks folder. Cool. So we were able to do two of these today. Um, and for those of you, you know, there are new people that pop in in the in the stream and stuff. I'll just show you what this would kind of look like in the next stage here. Um, uh, let's just grab, I don't know, what's this one? Sure. So you guys can kind of see where this would go. Um, so this is what I would bring in, like what you guys just saw this. Uh, I've been doing this with this project, especially with heavy ink stuff. I just get like this little like... Um, a color of just fat blobby where shadows should probably go. It's not perfect, but it's an idea. Lower the opacity, and then just start inking over top. And then when you're done, you get something that looks like this. Again, this one's a little bit more gritty uh, than uh, my normal stuff. But, uh, you know, whoops. It's definitely got a feel to it. Going back to this one, too. So, yeah. So I just want to say thank you guys once again for stopping by. If you just popped into the chat right now, or in the stream, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this stream is every Wednesday from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you guys would like to uh, make it into the next one, I'd be more than happy to have you. So please, if you enjoyed the stream, click subscribe. And if you're watching after the fact, you can click subscribe there as well. Uh, these shows, they get uploaded on the following weekend. So, um... 
uh, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube again, uh, you're going to see this uh, a few days after than when it happened live. And um, yeah, so actually I think in, what is it? Almost a, is it next week or no? About two weeks. We have our critique show, and what that is, is uh, the first Wednesday of every month is just a critique show with you guys. So uh, if you can make it again at the same time, that'd be awesome. Bring some art and some stuff that you like critique, and I'll do my best to uh, be able to help you out. And if you can't make it to the stream, head on over to my website. There's plenty of ways to contact me. Please just send me uh, a message with an attachment of the image uh, that you'd like critiqued with like a little little blurb, you know, a sentence or as long as you'd like it. Just so uh, what you're struggling with or what you'd like to improve on and all that stuff. And uh, hopefully we can get you in on the show. Don't be shy. There's tons of people that um, have questions that aren't able to send in or they're just maybe a little too shy to send in and get, uh, you know, some feedback on their art. So please, by you uh, participating, it does help other people out too. I really appreciate that. And the very last thing we'll plug in, <laughs> once again, is Patreon. Thank you so much if, uh, if you're a Patreon of mine and you are in the chat right now. Thank you so much. I honestly, honestly appreciate that. Um, and if you have no idea what Patreon is, uh, it's just a place that you can uh, financially support me and my dreams of being an independent comic book artist and all the projects I've done or if you just want to say thanks and even if you got no money to throw at me that's cool a share would be awesome it's just the same thing but there's lots of goodies on there as well so check it out um, lots of free content and lots of almost semi up updates daily updates around there of just sort of like what's going on and if you're interested in getting some sketches and all that good stuff whole bunch of information on there check it out I don't bore you guys anymore with that so again thank you guys so much I'll talk to you guys next Wednesday. Keep reading comics, keep making comics, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.